Amber Tamblin has had enough of the sexual harassment, abuse and assault that has plagued Hollywood. In a powerful opt published in the New York Times, Tamblin spoke out about the difficulty women face when they are questioned about their experiences of harassment and assault. The story was published after actor James Woods called her a liar for recounting a story of when he tried to pick her up when she was 16 years old. I have been afraid of speaking out or asking things of men in positions of power for years, Tamblin, now 34, wrote. What I have experienced as an actress working in a business whose business is to objectify women is frightening. It is the deep end of a pool where I cannot swim. It is a famous man telling you that you are a liar for what you have remembered. For what you must have misremembered, unless you have proof. Earlier this week, Woods took to Twitter to criticize the premise of a new film, called Me By Your Name, starring Army Harmer that depicts a gay relationship between a 17-year-old and a 24-year-old. Harmer responded to Woods, highlighting his hypocrisy by pointing to a relationship Woods had with a 19-year-old when he was 60, and then Tamblin responded with her own experience. James Woods tried to pick me and my friend up at a restaurant once. He wanted to take us to Vegas. I'm 16 I said. Even better he said. Amber Tamblin at Amber Tamblin September 11, 2017 In an instant, I was reminded of a memory from when I was 16, Tamblin wrote in the Times. Mr. Woods attempted to pick me and a friend up when we were at Mel's Diner in Hollywood, seeing if we wanted to go to Las Vegas with him that very night. I informed him of my age, to which he said, even better. I told this story publicly as a way to back up the claim that Mr. Woods was, indeed, a hypocrite. Mr. Woods called my account a lie. In the op, Tamblin detailed an experience she had as a young actress when a crew member from the set of a television show kept coming to her apartment unannounced and sitting in her trailer when she wasn't there. When she brought up the issue to the producer of the show, he said, well, there are two sides to every story. Mr. Wood's accusation that I was lying sent me back to that day in the producer's office, and back to all the days I've spent in the offices of men of feeling unsure, uneasy, questioned and disbelieved, no matter the conversation, Tamblin wrote. The women I know, myself included, are done, though, playing the credentials game, Tamblin continued. We're learning that the more we open our mouths, the more we become acquire. And the more we are acquire, the more the tune is forced to change.